Jin Rest Part 1 Zombie was in a playful mood tonight and didn't know any training so he was a really good model of shaping a chin rest. All I'm doing is holding out my hand and waiting for him to voluntarily put his chin in my hand. I'm not looking for any duration at this point so I am clicking and treating straight away. This conditions the behavior I am looking for. The more I ask of just the start of the behavior yes. and rapidly reinforce the quicker he learns. Chin rest part two. Very good. Rest. Now that we know the chin rest, we can begin to yes. add duration. I always change my durations from a few seconds to a couple of seconds to five and then back down to a few seconds and then up to ten to keep reinforcing the behavior and build trust. This way he knows he is getting the behavior correct and I'm not withholding food. This can be where a lot of dogs panic as they think the reward is being withheld and we don't want that in positive reinforcement. Chin rest part three. Good rest, yes, good boy. Click. Now we have chin rest, we can add in an object which would represent an object of the vets or groomers during a procedure. He doesn't know to associate the chin rest onto the object. So of course I place my hand there to set him up for success. Very good, nice. If he puts his chin on the object on his own bonus, if he doesn't know big deal. He also gets a little frustrated with the object as this is a new behavior, but he soon comes straight back in. This is why we don't add duration straight away to encourage them that they are doing a good job. Chin rest part four. Good job. Rest. Now we have the behavior associated to the object. Now we can play rest. about with duration again. Okay. Rest. Always changing the times Good of the duration job. to positively reinforce and set up for success. Now she is doing this with duration, we can begin pretending to do procedures or brushing in very short bursts to set her up for success again. I'll make a part 5 tomorrow to show the next steps and how we help the dog to feel calm and positive while something is being done to them. Chin rests part 5. Jungo was not comfortable putting his muzzle onto the object alone so I went back a step and put my hand there which he is comfortable and familiar with. We have now added in an empty syringe to make this a more real experience for the vets. Jamie is only allowed to add in the syringe whilst Jungo is doing a chin rest. Good boy, nice. Chin rests part 6. Yes. If your dog isn't comfortable using an object, don't worry about it. Yes. When we go to the vets apart from the last year, standard practice is to go in with them. Good job. Rest. So we can use our hands for our dogs to use as the rest. platform for the chin rest which offers reassurance to the dog. Not all dogs are comfortable at the vets. And this is only an exercise to help them with their fear, not cure them. Chin rests part seven. So the first steps to chin rests are in the previous parts, but then we take what we have learnt at home and do this at the vets. So we don't go to the vets for an actual procedure. 
My dogs are all super happy at the vets, as they have all attended doing this with nothing happening. They pull to get into the vets and Diesel takes himself in straight to the vets lab. So the first step at the vets would be changing your dog's emotion to the vets. This could be the car park for your dog before they become stressed. Chin rests part 8. If the car park is the place where your dog begins to become stressed, do not try to take them into the vets as we don't want to poison this behavior. Instead open the boot and sit with them or play with them in the car park then go home. Each time they get more confident in the car park try this in the car park. Most vets will come out to the car to give boosters. Good Changing job. dog's emotions Good takes time boy. and patience. If your dog is fearful of the vets this will take time but this is a good foundation of where to start to making the goal being in the reception area.